Sometimes as a colorist, I'm handed in footage which has baked in Rec. 709. Now you may have this problem too. Today I'm gonna to show you how to use color space transforms properly so you can avoid your image looking like this and you can be working in an image that looks like this but still working in a wider color space. So I have two clips here. They're both Ari clips. I also have one at the end which is also Ari. Now this one here doesn't have the baked in Rec. 709 but this one does have that baked in Rec. 709. As always, what we would do to be working in a wider color space, we want to use a color space transform. So I'm going to make a new node here by pressing Alt S and this one's going to be our last one and this will be our first one. So color space transform. So because I'm working in Ari footage, I want to change my settings up here. Input color space. We're going to go to Ari wide gamut three, input gamma. Ari log C3, output color space, we want to be working in DaVinci wide gamut and output gamma, DaVinci intermediate. Tone mapping method, we want to change this to none. Now this will be really important later on. For our last one, again, color space transform. Now input color space is DaVinci wide gamut, output gamma, DaVinci intermediate. Output color space is Rec. 709, output gamma, gamma 2.4. Tone mapping method, we want to change this to luminance mapping use custom max input, put this all the way to 10,000, use custom max output and gamut mapping method, as always, saturation compression. So now we have what is known as a normalized image. So we have a nice starting point to do our grade. Now, what would happen if we were to copy this color space that we've done across to this image here? What has essentially happened is we're layering another Rec. 709 onto this image here. So we're doubling that Rec. 709. So how do we fix this problem? Well, we can actually leave a color space transform as is, our output one that is. And in our first one, this is where we're gonna make those changes. Our input color space, we're not in RE Wide Gamut 3, we're actually in Rec. 709 because that has that baked in Rec. 709. Input gamma, we want to be at gamma 2.4. Now we can leave our output color space the same and we can leave our output gamma the same because we want to be working in that wider color space. But our image isn't what we want it to be. We have some really ugly highlights here and it's all looking a little bit funky. So how do we fix that problem? What we can do, if we go back to our color space transform here. Now I'm also going to bring up my waveform. This will be a nice visual representation. Make it a little bit smaller. In our tone mapping method, we actually want to put this to luminance and we're going to change this to use custom max input. Now you're only going to be doing this generally when it comes to working with Rec. 709 footage. Now we have a little bit of clipping here, so we can just bring this down just a little bit, save these highlights. Now our next step is the most important one and we want to change our max input to use custom max output. Now our highlights still look really bad. If we were to bring this all the way down. Again, we're just smashing those highlights down and we're getting a really ugly image. So we're gonna bring this up and we wanna get a nice starting point where we're not clipping those highlights and we're also not smashing those highlights down. So I'm gonna say around about here is a really good starting point. Now we're gonna leave our gamut mapping method to none as always. So now if we were to put these two clips side by side, we have two good starting points for our image. This one is a little bit darker than this one and has a tiny bit more saturation, but they're basically exactly the same. And this is a really good starting point when it comes to your grade. As always, you wanna make sure you're working in between your first node here and your last node here. You don't wanna be working after this node. This is the last node when it comes to your grade. So you simply just put in your nodes here and you would start your grade. Now let's go to our last clip here. And again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this clip here onto this clip here. All you have to do is middle mouse button click and that copies it across. And again, we have a really horrible looking image and that is because it is Rec. 709 laid upon Rec. 709. Now to put this image into a better starting point, all we'd have to do is just right click mouse button this image here and we have a really nice starting point and we have a pretty good looking image already and we just need to add some saturation, maybe some contrast and an overall look when it comes to these clips. Anyway, I hope that has helped you out. Let me know in the comments below if you're having any problems with footage that you don't know the color space transform settings for or any other problems you have. I'm more than happy to research that and try and come up with an answer for you. Really appreciate you watching and thanks as always. I've been Drew and have a great day.